Hello, and welcome to another exciting adventure of sailing solo at 70. I'm David Fansler, and I'm still not sailing. Uh, this episode really doesn't have a whole lot to do with uh, sailing, but it has to do with Greece. And Greece has lots of bakeries here in Lefkas. Uh, they're, they're practically side by side. But one of the things they have are sugar donuts. Now, these are not the typical U.S. sugar donuts. These things are big, and they're good, too. And so that brings me to my story, the donut story. In the 1970s, 50 years ago, gee willikers, I owned a Plymouth Cuda. Now, 75% of you, or 95%, are going to say, what's a Plymouth and what's a Cuda? Well, Plymouth was a division of Chrysler, and they phased it out in the light, late 1990s. The Cuda was short for Barracuda. The Barracuda was one of the early four-seater sports cars, and it was a delight. And as it continued to develop, it became the Cuda. Uh, now, Dodge's version of it was called the Challenger, and I'm sure all of you know about the Challenger, and the Challenger today looks a lot like the Cuda did when it first, uh, not when it first came out, but with version that I had. Um... At one point, the Plymouth Cuda was the fastest production car on the planet. Uh, it was equipped with a 425, no, 426 cubic inch engine producing 425 horsepower, and uh, it would absolutely fly. Now, mine wasn't quite like that as much as I'd love for it to have been. It had a 340 cubic inch engine producing about 285 horsepower. And it had a manual three-speed transmission in the floor. Now, this transmission was geared really weird. The first gear would die at about 55 miles an hour. Second gear, something over 100. Third gear, I really don't know. Uh, one time I had it up between 145 and 150. I know I'm telling on myself. And it was still accelerating. Um, so anyway, the donut story goes like this. I was coming home from my parents one time. Uh, they live in Roanoke Rapids, and so I was traveling down Interstate 85 toward uh, Chapel Hill. And I was running between 70 and 75 miles an hour, and the speed limit in those days was 65 mile an hour on the interstates. I got to 15501, which breaks off in Durham from 85, and unfortunately the speed limit slowed down, but I didn't. And uh, the car, well, cars in that day did not have protection over the tail lights in the back. You can see the tail lights without any problems. And I had a lone suitcase in the back of the car, and it knocked out one of my tail lights. And a highway patrolman noticed me because I was missing a tail light. So he takes off in pursuit of me, unknown to me. Now, 15501, as I said, was 55 miles an hour, but there was a point in Durham where it, it went through a right-hand curve, and it narrowed down to one lane, and at that point, it was 45 miles an hour. Now, there was some guy in front of me in the left-hand lane that was passing somebody and just barely doing it, but he finally got over, and I decided if I kicked it, I had enough time to get around him before it narrowed down to one lane, so I did. And the last time I glanced at the speedometer, it was going like this past 110. Suddenly, my blue interior became a lot bluer as the highway patrolman turned on his blue lights. Um, he clocked me doing 72 and a 55 and fortunately did not have enough time to reset his radar as we went through that curve. So, in North Carolina, there, the law states that if you're caught driving... 15 miles an hour over the speed limit and over 55 miles an hour, it's an automatic 30-day suspension. So I lost my license for 30 days. It was summertime. I lived in Carborough, which is next door to Chapel Hill, and I was working at the planetarium in Chapel Hill. So I would get on my 10-speed bike every morning, and I would ride to Dunkin' Donuts on Franklin Street in Chapel Hill and buy me a dozen Dunkin' Donuts and a quart of milk, and that was breakfast every day for four weeks. 
Uh, lunch consisted of a giant blimpy with two 16 ounce Cokes. And then I just had a sandwich for supper. I wasn't that hungry. Um, I actually lost weight during that time period. Uh, my thighs got larger where I couldn't fit into some of my pants anymore. So anyway, that's the donut story. And while um, I, I don't speed anymore like I used to, but uh, I still enjoy a donut. Mm -hmm. See you next time.